What's up agents, it's Chasen here. And I wanna tell you about another time where I got cheated out of some money, out of a commission, on a transaction, another one of these stories. And you know, this one, I feel like a lot of you may be able to relate to. All right, so here goes the setup. I was doing some cold calling one day, doing some cold calling for, for sale by owners because I needed to get some more listings. And so I was just calling and calling, smiling and dialing. Um, and I called this this one lady and she picked up the phone. She she spoke Spanish, like she, she just automatically started talking Spanish. and. I didn't know any Spanish and I was trying to talk to her in English. Well, I knew a little bit of Spanish, but I was trying to talk to her in English and she wasn't having it, so she just hung up the phone. Well, conveniently at the time, I had an admin who spoke Spanish. And so she was Latina and she spoke Spanish and I was just like, okay, I need you to help me with this call. Now, the thing with that was she was not an agent she didn't really know how to sell. She did work for me, so she kind of knew the real estate business and knew how all that went, and she's heard me do cold calls. But again, like she, she wasn't an agent. And so I couldn't necessarily say, hey, here's a lead for you, take this and run with it. I really just needed her to be a translator for me. So I said, listen, we're gonna call this lady back and I'm gonna tell you what to say, and I just need you to translate. Here's the setup, here's what happened. Her house is on the market right now. She's trying to sell it herself. She's not having luck, so I want to get the house to sell. So boom, we were all about it. So she picks up the phone, calls a lady, the lady answers again, and she's on speakerphone. And so the admin that I had, she started speaking Spanish, telling her who I was, and the lady apologized because she was like, she just didn't want to deal with it. She was not a native English speaker, and so she just didn't want to deal with it at that time. Turns out she knew how to speak English, but it was just kind of one of those things that she was just able to play off real quick. We did our little script, and, and I coached her through it, and so they actually agreed to an appointment. Now, I guess they were just a little sketched out they didn't really know who we were and what we were all about and everything and so they didn't allow us to come to their home for the first meeting they wanted to come into the office to see if we were legit which I'm all for it if you want to come in sit down and we can go through our presentation and everything then that was all fine so she agreed to it. We set an appointment for the next day. Like they were very eager. We didn't really have to do much convincing with them over the phone. They just, at this point, were ready to sell and they, they had to buy another property. So the next day came in for the appointment and it's me, her, her husband, and then my admin who speaks Spanish. And so we're, we're kind of playing this little like, translation game i would say something and then they would be looking at me and then they would look at her to see what she would say and like how to translate it and they were they were very nice people they were a couple they were looking to move they were in plano which is a little north of dallas and they were ready to get it done they liked what they saw now the only thing was they wanted a discount on the commission which i was like okay you know we had already came this far and they didn't bring it up on the phone, but what we agreed on was, we'll give you a discount on the commission if you buy a house from us too. So that was the agreement. They said that, hey, we'd let you sell the house and you can represent us on the buy. So it was, it was kind of like a situation where it was just like, why not at the time? Put the house on the market. Now, this is where the the owner kind of turned into like a, uh, is there like a word for like a bridezilla, but for homeowners, whatever that is, this is what she turned into. Every single time, and she, and she had real good English by this time, every single time she would call or, or anything, she was screaming, blowing up, I want this house sold and it needs to be, and, and 
it was actually a difficult house to sell because they weren't willing to budge on price and they were already over on their value they didn't really have a lot of repairs on the house so it was it was kind of just a situation where like I was just having to, to do whatever and all I could keep thinking about was you know what let's just get this sold and then we're gonna help them buy and all that kind of stuff so time was passing we probably had the listing for around three weeks and then it went under contract so it was all good we're we're, we're moving towards closing and they're doing what they need to do and we're doing what, what we need to do but something that i kept noticing was every time we would try to get them to the car or to set them up for showings something would come up they would say oh my daughter this or oh we're gonna be out of town or like whatever the case is and keep in mind they're starting to communicate more with her so my admin versus me which i just blamed it on the whole spanish thing like we'll just make it as comfortable for them as possible but they would always kind of dodge the phone calls and so we're getting closer and closer towards closing and i'm getting worried at this point like i'm like hey we got to get your house under contract we got to do something so she tells me she says don't worry about that because we want to get the perfect house so we're going to stay with a family member in the meantime until we get the house and so i was like oh okay well y'all have a backup plan so i'm not as worried if y'all aren't worried here we go closing right closing on their house and everything is is getting signed we're having the closing they're acting all happy and everything so the next day because they had to rush off after closing the next day i said look we got to get them into a house we got to get them under contract and the lady tells the lady tells my admin oh well we we already have a realtor that we're gonna work with who speaks spanish and we're like what the are you kidding me are you kidding me so these people they got the discount on the commission up front and they were working with another agent who spoke spanish not that we weren't speaking spanish to her and not that we didn't make this a smooth transaction and and do everything that we could to sell her overpriced difficult home that didn't even look presentable half the time but then she she turns around and screws us on on the whole deal you know and i was just so over them because i was like for one she kind of put me through the ringer and i felt like she knew what she was doing the whole time they knew that they were going to do this that's why they were dodging the phone calls that's why we couldn't get them out for showings for another property like it just all made sense it all made sense moral of the story do not discount your commission up front if you're going to discount it thank you for watching this video here's another video that you might find interesting go ahead and click on that and it'll take you straight to the video and if you haven't subscribed yet click the subscribe button below it's just a circular picture with my face in it so click on that and it'll subscribe you to my channel for more videos like these again thank you for watching